Before we begin this Halloween's presentation, I believe it is important to provide some background and context for the story that is about to be told. In December of 2019, Carson McKinnish was set to play the role of the ghost of Christmas Present in a play adaptation of A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens at the Fayette Civic Center. Carson invited a large number of his friends and colleagues to attend, but the primary guests he desired were Adam Lowry, Trenton Harris, and Zachary Seth McLemore. In the fullness of time, the production and show was a success, with the exception of one hang-up. Adam and Trenton were the only ones of those invited who attended Carson's performance, leaving Carson devastated and obscenely salty, specifically at Seth. Shortly thereafter, Carson tragically died in a traffic accident. Now, with only Carson's final will and testament to guide them, Adam, Seth, and Trent venture one last time to Carson's home to receive a final parting gift from their fallen friend. What they don't realize is that their gift is retribution. This is House of a Thousand Carsons. What do you think it is? I have no idea. It's just the will said to come to his house and we will know when we find him. I can't imagine it's anything big. Probably just a keepsake for three of us. It's hard to believe he's gone, guys. Life really ain't fair. I don't know what else to tell you, dude. Life just really is not fucking fair. Didn't he accidentally walk out in front of a bus because he decided to sack clap in the street? Well, where, where do we start? Just, 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 just take a moment. I doubt we'll ever set foot in here again, guys. Well, before we do anything, I gotta take me a freaking dookie. That's what I gotta do. You ever take a shit in a dead man's house? <laughs> What's wrong with that? Man, that's just unethical. I ain't heard about that. Man, the last person that should leave a stinker in their house is the person who owns the house. Who told me? Nobody told me. I'm telling you right now. So I'm about to go in that bathroom and I'm about to drop a freaking fat dookie. That's what I'm about to do. Well, I, before I, you do anything, I'm going to take a piss. What the so, hell? But I, I, it's not so freaking out of pocket for a man to take a piss outside of a dead man's house, Adam. You get some manners. When I come back, I want you to act right for the rest of this visit. So why are you being such a slut about this, Seth? I just want to drop a damn slug in the toilet. That's what I want to do. You have given me nothing. You made me. <laughs> man, man died. He left his bathroom in a particular way. You're going to go in there and tarnish the reputation of his bathroom. He's his, not using it. His relatives are going to come in like he just destroyed the shit. Then he bought a flush it. But, check on Trent. Yeah, yeah, okay, go do that. <sighs> Finally, I gotta take a fast shit. Trent? 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 Is this, is this Trent's boot? What even is this? 
this. Join me, man. Monk, 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 monk. You jack bastard! What you mean, man? No. No. <laughs> no, Carson. No! Shut up about that dang play! Yes! Yes!